folks welcome to the webinar this is about the multi time frame trend indicator my name is hari swaminathan you may have seen a few videos on uh, this uh, subject in, on this indicator before uh, before we jump into the trading platform and uh, you know the markets are going to open in about 15 minutes so before we go there uh, i just want to give a just a brief uh, a brief outline of what this indicator does this is a very very powerful indicator because it is it has the ability to capture trends across all kinds of time frames and it also works for all kinds of asset classes so even if you're a stock trader or if you're a futures trader or any kind of trader uh, it doesn't have to be options uh, you'll still you'll still be able to use this indicator so um, you know i think you may have seen a video but i'll just briefly describe what this uh, what this indicator does so one of the things that we always have a have an issue is when we are looking at a trend regardless of the time frame of the trend uh, if you're looking at an intraday or maybe a you know slightly longer term or even a swing trade or even a very long term uh, chart uh, you want to get an idea of okay it seems like there is a bullish trend or a bearish trend on this particular time frame but how do you assess what is the strength or the momentum behind it in terms of if it really aligns with several time frames then of course you know that is so much more of a powerful uh, indicator and so that's exactly what it does uh, this indicator captures trends on all time frames so it depends on how you uh, set up your charts but it will capture trends on all time frames and on each chart it can capture trend of up to 5 levels of time frame depth so it works for intraday trading it works for long term trading and investing and it works for all uh, time frames in between as well and and as i said it also works for all of the uh, the stocks and options and futures and uh, you know all of that stuff so it works on everything so it it you know it's really uh, a lot of work has gone into this indicator and um, you know it uh, uh you know it 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 really has come out uh, uh, you know come out very well so we'll we'll be looking at this indicator on the platform as well and uh, i'll explain to you how some of these things work so basically on each chart you're going to get five levels of deep trend analysis uh, and so you can set five time time frames on each chart so for example if you were doing an intraday trading setup you could set it up for 5 minutes or you can even set it up for 1 minute i've got it actually on the platform i've got it set up for 1 minute so that we can see some actions coming in uh, fairly quickly uh, this morning and so that's really the goal here so you can set it up for 5 minutes 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes and 1 hour and so what this indicator does is it will tell you what is the trend on each one of these time frames in a very visual manner and th and this is what makes the trade entry or your trade exit somewhat of a no brainer because there is a master indicator that depicts alignment on all time frames on on that particular chart and so this is very uh, you know it 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 it's obviously very powerful and so uh, we're going to see this in action uh, and uh, you know go over to the uh, go over to the platform and I'll show you so let me just move over to the think or swim platform and I, and what i have here let me just expand this a little bit here and then we go from there so on the left side and i'm looking at this from a intraday standpoint first so if I, this is a one day one minute chart and so the way this works is uh, you'll see five sets of time frames over here on the bottom if you can see the you know the green and red dots over here you'll see five sets of uh, time frames and then you will see one above it all and that is the master level indicator so when all five time frames on this particular chart when they are aligned then the master level indicator will either indicate uh, a red if it's bearish or a green if it's bullish and so what we have here in in the configuration we're looking at a one day one minute chart so the lowest level the lowest level is going to be the same time frame of the chart itself so which means that is going to be the one minute and then on the one minute you can see at least for the last three or four bars it's been bullish however the next one is the five minute you can see the configurations right here and you can configure this to whatever time frame you want and i'll show you how that configuration works a little later but this particular chart is configured for a 1 minute at the very bottom the next level is the 5 minutes the next level is the 15 minutes 
the the fourth one is the 30 minute and finally the topmost one is the one hour trend and so as you can see here it is bullish on the one minute level however on the other four it is quite bearish and then once you look at the chart you can understand why and uh, in fact a few minutes ago if uh, once you saw uh, you know all five were being bearish uh, you know it, it, it started out over here and then there was a little bit of choppiness but over here on this bar is when they all go bearish again and so if you wanted to take a quick I mean this is of course you're, de you're trading you're looking at a one minute chart and so therefore your trade time frame also has to be in that kind of uh, you know proportion and so if you take a trade on the one minute chart you're looking to get out in about five minutes or six minutes and that's exactly what this uh, you know gives you so you would have gotten in perhaps over here because you see there's one green dot here and generally what you'll see is on the lowest level you'll see choppiness because that is the lowest time frame uh, which is the one minute and so you're going to see ups and downs over there and so if you see one dot you may not want to get shaken out by the trade so even if you got in over here somewhere here you would have taken this trade all the way down or to about four points on the on the on the es and so it's not a whole lot but you're looking at a one minute chart and therefore your trading time frame also has to correspond to that so right now the one minute is a little bullish but the rest of it is still bearish and so what you really want to see is if, whether this bearish sentiment will continue uh, into the into the future I mean, I'm sorry I, I, I didn't have the two or three bars there but it's still now you can see and you, you might have heard a sound whenever the all five are aligned and uh, it will make a sound to let you know that on this particular chart at least you know that it's uh, you know it's aligned that way. So uh, this is as far as the one minute chart is concerned and of course the markets are going to the markets are not open right now so this is the futures uh, you know and uh, so we're looking at the ES futures here and so it's going to open in about seven minutes or so and um, you know we'll see how once the markets open you'll see a lot lot more activity now you can see from this bar again the one uh, the one minute and the five minute have uh, you know turned bullish and so uh, once again, you know, there's a lot of choppiness here and so, you know, it depends whether you want to take a trade on the one minute chart or not. But what is more, uh, even for an intraday trader, perhaps a five minute chart or a 15 minute chart is more appropriate uh, because, you know, it, it gives you some time to process the data and even the system itself will, uh, you know, will, will process the data in a much more, it, it, it's not quite so choppy. As you can see here, there's a lot of choppiness here on the one minute chart, but on the 15 minute chart, things look a little bit more clear. And so all through uh, the, the, uh, the pre-market in the last, uh, you know, two or three hours, there was a nice bullish climb over here. And as I said, if you see one dot, if you want, you can exit. But I, I would say on the lowest time frame, you know, especially if it's on the lowest time frame, if you just see one dot, you might want to just stay in the trade. And once you see on the next time frame also, that's the time you, you really want to get out of the trade. Or you see two you know, in, a, in a sequence, that's when you want to get out of the trade. So for example, over here, you could have gotten the, into the trade right there on this bar and you know ridden this all the way and somewhere here you would have gotten out of it once you see these uh, you know these two bars right there so but these are 15 minute bars and so you'll uh, you know you'll have plenty of time to decide whether you want to stay in the trade or you want to get out of the trade so you know, th you know that's what we are looking at over here so this is for a day trading setup and then on the right hand side what i have is a 15 minutes and so the lowest level is the 15 minutes the next level is the 30 minutes and then the level after that is, uh, you know, one hour and then there is two hours and then there's four hours. So it's still sort of an intraday kind of a trading setup. But of course, you can change all of this on your chart settings, however you want it. And in fact, I'm going to show you how this would work even for a swing trading setup, uh, you know, how this would work over here. So obviously on the 15 minute chart, things have turned bearish, as you can see the, uh, the, uh, the lowest as well as the 30 minute as well as the one hour has become has turned bearish so each bar is 15 minutes so you can see from this after this big move up over here things have not been uh, things have not been that bullish and so that's how you would interpret this and in general you will see the lowest level time frame changing colors 
much more quicker or faster and that should make uh, intuitive sense because uh, the lowest level time frames will always see the more choppiness and so you were uh, you know you once you see one it doesn't mean that you have to get out of the trade but if you see two then certainly i think that makes a uh, good sense now if you see two red uh, you know two color changes in both the lowest time frame as well as the time frame above it then certainly that is also a good time to uh, take off your trade and uh, you know wait for the next uh, opportunity so ideally you want to wait for the opportunity where all five time frames are aligned so either you have a green dot on the master level indicator or you have a red dot so depending on whether you want to go bullish or bearish uh, you would want to wait for all five time frames now it also depends on what you set these uh, these parameters as because you, you know we can also set these parameters the lowest level will be 15 minutes the next level could be one hour the level after that could be four hours the level after that could be one day and so it also depends on that so you have to uh, select this based upon how long you intend to be on you know in, in, you know on a trade so the best way to do this is uh, the way I've, I, I've done it is you know this is an intraday kind of a setup I also have a swing trading setup so let me show you that uh, and that will be uh, the swing time frame right here and so now if you see we have a swing trading environment over here and we'll just wait for the colors to develop here and so now on the left hand side what I have here is a 5 day 15 minute chart okay so 5 day 15 minute and so the lowest level is going to be the 15 minutes the one after that it's going to be 30 minutes two hours one day and three days and as I said you can set this up as you know to whatever time frame you want depending on your trading uh, time frame or how long you want to be in the trade and so on the right hand side I have a slightly more longer term and this is more uh, you know like a uh, like a swing trade this could be a swing trade as well but it's still somewhere in between a day trade and a swing trade whereas here on the right hand side the three month daily chart clearly is a swing trading setup and you can see over the past several days we have a bullish tone over here so if you were to get into this trade uh, let's say even if you waited for one or two bars somewhere here uh, yeah, you would still be in this trade because everything is showing uh, you know a, a bullish all all the time frames are showing bullish so this is very uh, you know it's very powerful because you get into the trade here at this level of 3132 and then here we are at 3230 so you know that's a hundred points on the S&P so that's very powerful so uh, you know you can stay in this trade for so long uh, you know, depending on this now here you can see I mean this is very unusual though uh, you know generally you will see about you know it's anywhere between 5 to 10 bars of uh, you know of the of the master level indicator but you know about uh, you know two or three months ago in October we, we went on a bull uh, run over here and it just did not stop at all it just did not stop it went on for about two or three weeks over here and so that would have been also a great trade so the way you do this, uh, these setups is uh, once you download the indicator, you will come to uh, the studies right here and then you'll see the multi time trend uh, studies. And if you come here, you can, you know, this is where you set up. Now you don't need to set up the lowest level because the lowest level will always be the time frame of the chart, which is a one day chart. And then what you'll see here is a two days, four days one week and one month but you can set these to anything you can set these to anything over here you can go up to a year or you can come down to you know in terms of hours you can come down to minutes also uh, you can do all of that stuff over here so I'll just leave it as is it, it, it's set to two days four days one week and one month which is uh, ideal for a swing trading environment so it gives you the trend uh, for the uh, a daily trend it gives you a two day trend it gives you a four day trend it gives you a one week trend as well as a one month trend and of course now the markets are open so let me jump back into the day trading setup and let's see how that is working right now so let's go into the intraday and uh, this is the ES of course uh, you can do the ES you can do the spider you can do uh, you know the SPX the SPX of course doesn't trade so you won't have volume information on the SPX but here you go so now uh, looks like a little bit to the downside let the indicators recalculate and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll look at this uh, chart again 
and uh, so the futures were up mildly about uh, five six points and uh, now uh, looks like it's taking a little breather here all right here it seems to have uh, corrected itself sometimes because of all these calculations that are involved in uh, in all of these charts uh, it could take uh, it could take a little bit of time all right so now we are set on the on the on the swing trading environment this is a 5 day 15 minute chart and you can see that there is a uh, bearishness at least you know on the 15 minute as well as the 30 minute on the 3 month daily chart you're still good you know all of this uh, you know up and down choppiness doesn't matter to you in a swing trading environment let me try to go back to the day trading environment okay we have it on the 5 minute 15 uh, 5 day 15 minute chart and now we have it on the 1 minute chart as well so you can see the whole thing is now aligned to a bearish so the market started uh, you know right here and then it's it's just been bearish now this is a 1 minute chart so if you were to trade on this chart obviously your trade is going to be uh, you know in terms of a few minutes because you're trading based on the one minute chart but if you were to trade on the 15 minute chart you can see that four of them have lined up to the bearish side but the four hour trend is still not lined up now does that mean you cannot take a trade no you you, you know you can take a trade if you want just be aware that all five have not lined up yet and so you might want to give it uh, you know give it some time now you just heard that sound that is because when all five get aligned on the chart um, you know after a break uh, if all five get aligned uh, you will you will hear that sound saying that hey okay now there is some alignment here and so uh, on the one minute chart there is alignment of all five of them and that's how you would look at it <coughs> excuse me now you know generally I wouldn't uh, advise trading based on the one minute chart because as you can uh, you know as you can expect it can be very very choppy it can be very choppy you can see one bar will be down or the other bar will be up and uh, uh, you can find it uh, you know extremely choppy so what I'll do let me see if we can move to but I don't want to move to a five minute chart because then the data won't come in that quickly so this is as you know this webinar is a demonstration of uh, the indicator so for that purpose only I have put the one minute chart here you can see now the second uh, red dot has also come and so a little bit more conviction at least on the one minute chart you have some conviction that uh, you know you want to go bearish here so and this works of course for for all stocks and all uh, uh, ETFs it works on any instrument so it, it's not just for an index it can work on every stock uh, anything that can be plotted on charts so obviously for this one also to turn on the 15 minute uh, chart for the four hour trend to turn red might take a little time now it could happen you know uh, it, it could happen sometime uh, you know now or uh, it might take another few bars of that uh, before that happens so let's just focus on the one minute chart and uh, see what it's uh, see what it's showing so it's, it's still showing bearish and so now you have three red dots based on the one minute chart so in general regardless of the time frame you can expect anywhere from 4 to 10 of these master level indicators so as you can see now we have three we actually have a, we actually have to, you know five plus three eight over here so it you know the uh, the trend really started over here you don't want to get shaken out just by one of these even though that was a seems like a big bar in, in terms of three two two eight no actually it just went up two points um, but you don't want to get shaken out especially if it is at the lowest level time frame because the lowest level time frame is where you will see the colors changing very often um, and, and that's just because you know that the, the lowest level is the time frame of the chart in which case in, and in this case it is a one minute chart but uh, you can see now we've got three uh, you know three reds at least going on and the market still looks uh, you know looks like it wants to go down and uh, uh, you know if you were to take a bearish trade you would be in the trade for maybe five or six minutes because you're trading based on the one minute chart and it may not it may not have been a bad trade you could have gotten down somewhere here three two three zero it's a three three two uh, two seven three points and uh, if you were to play the options game a uh, 35 delta or 40 delta um, would uh, would fetch you a decent uh, decent return I mean, you know at least a 30 percent return there so here we have we have the fourth one also over here what I want to wait to see if uh, at the 15 minute uh, mark whether this kind of price action on the 15 minute chart is enough to change 
the uh, the the four hour trend i i would highly doubt it if you go back and if you see i would highly doubt it because you know it's coming uh, from here this was a big move so i would doubt it would change the four hour trend but you don't have to keep it four hours you don't have to keep this two hours you can keep 30 minutes one hour two hour three hours or uh, you know you know anything in between as well so but just keep the lowest level should be the time frame of the chart you know you just have to keep that in mind so once again it's uh, you know it seems like it is uh, it is going down but as you can see now on the 1 minute bar if you don't count this little green dot over here we have five red and five red so that's all you know that's 10 of that almost consecutive and so um, from testing we notice that generally you know that is uh, you know that is when a trend could change at, on on this particular time frame only on this particular time frame on the one minute time frame a trend could change at that point because uh, it's uh, you know it's it's run out now on the on the 15 minute chart you can see you know you, it went on here you, here it went on for about eight or nine times and uh, here if you don't count this dot it also and this dot it went on for about eight or ten times here also so it, 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 this was a nice little trend in the pre-markets of course if you were trading the ES uh, futures or the ES options on futures uh, you could get you could have gotten a couple of good trades so this is still bearish it's still going down and uh, obviously if you were in the trade uh, this would be a nice trade uh, for at least four or five points on the ES so now let me also say okay so this is as far as the ES so how are you going to look at what is uh, you know so I've, I've got this my my uh, market watch here and so many people you might have seen these uh, columns here you know we have a day trading algo and a swing trading algo on the day trading what I have here is the day trades column and you can see you have the very bullish you have the uh, you have uh, the very bullish all the way till here and then you have the very bearish that's starting and of course the day trade will be very dynamic it's going to change all the time because depending on the as I said you, uh, you can see here now the trend has changed over here and so this is going to change so if you were to look at it in a day trading environment um, you if you had you know in, instead of cycling through every stock that you know uh, if you have this algo right here for the day trades it already tells you which one is bullish and which one is bearish and so you really you know it, it's sort of like a scanner you know it scans it for you and you can uh, let's say if you go to Google the, uh, the problem with switching to another one is you know it might take a little time but let's just switch once and uh, I, I, because I want to show uh, what the bullish uh, looks like over here but this uh, this algo gives you a filter and so that you can look at which stocks are bullish which stocks are bearish of course in that particular time frame uh, you know whether it's uh, day trades or whether it's swing trades in that particular time frame it will give you all the stocks that are bullish or bearish and and so uh, with the help of this now you don't need to scan through every stock in your watch list or every stock on the index you you immediately get a handful uh, you know handful of good uh, good quality candidates that have been picked out and uh, and so uh, this you know this becomes very very helpful and so there you go now the one minute has come you can see Google clearly uh, obviously opened up pretty bullish now you know uh, pairing back a little bit of those gains over here but uh, you know it was in the very bullish and even on the 15 minute it looks pretty good but uh, we'll wait for these colors to change uh, my sense is on the one minute yeah on the one minute it's already changed it's you know it's it's uh, turned back to red over here but uh, over here I would say these bars would have been uh, nicely green and so if you were trading on the one minute chart you could probably uh, you know go in there here the five day 15 minute you have a you have all uh, you know everything is aligned on the 15 minutes um, right here on the on, on Google so if you were trading on the 15 minute chart you know this would be a good point now obviously also you have to bear in mind when the markets open you have to give some time for the data to come in because you know every day is different every day is different in the market and uh, you know you do have to give some time for data to come in and uh, uh, you know uh, and let the calculations happen uh, uh, you know by itself so here we go so we are looking at a one minute chart over here and uh, here Google now just just now it showed up it showed a bullish after after this bar over here but let's see if that continues but this is a very good example of how you can 
filter the candidates for that particular time frame. So even if you're looking at a swing trading environment, and I'll show you that. So in a swing trading environment, uh, and this is the column here. So let me customize it. I've already shown the day trade. So I'm going to take that out. Let me show the swing trading environment and see what that looks like and what is bullish and what is not. And of course, these charts are not uh, designed for swing trades. These are these are intraday charts. But as you can see on the swing trades, you have all of these stocks that are very bullish. You do have a couple that are bearish, uh, which is Oracle and TLT, of course, is the bond ETF. And uh, so those two would be uh, the bearish. So, so even this algorithm will tell you which one to uh, pick out. So I'm going to go back to the swing and uh, let's uh, let's come back to the swing here and uh, let's see on uh, this of course it went back to es i'm going to go back to google here okay google it's saying on this particular time frame it is bullish which is the five day 15 minute let's look at the three month daily as you can see three month daily it is uh, you know it's been bullish somewhere over here it it ran out of steam and you can see there is two uh, two red dots uh, in the lowest time frame which is the daily chart and so that would be the lowest time frame and so now it's uh, come back to a bullish level over here and if you wanted to take a bullish trade uh, you know that would be that would work well okay so that is how you would look at it in the swing trading environment if you have a, if, if you guys have any questions please type it into the into the chat box and uh, we'll uh, you know I'll answer those and then what uh, you know just wanted this to be a demo of how this indicator works uh, uh, both on the you know on an intraday on a swing trading environment on a long term environment it, it works for every kind of chart and every kind of time frames and the good thing is on each chart you have the direct visibility of five different time frames so that uh, you know uh, the uh, 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 so that you can get a good uh, you know good idea. So Dan says, can you please show us how to plug in the indicator to the watch list? Yeah. yeah. So first, uh, Dan, you need this uh, algo and I think you may have it. Uh, I don't know which Dan this is, but uh, you, uh, I think you may have the swing trade algo over here. So what you want to do is, yes, you have it, right? Okay. So what you want to do, you see this little gearbox, you just say customize and you pick out the day trades or the swing trades and just say add items. That's it. Just like you did for, for your market watch, you would do the same thing over here. You would do the same thing over here. And uh, so, uh, and, and that's it. And then make sure you save your workspace and your, you know, uh, you know all of that. Because the next time you log in, it may, you know, it may not be there if you don't save it. So once you save it, it'll, it'll all be there. And you can put it right here. So you have a, you know, you can eyeball which ones are bullish, which ones are bearish on what time frame. And immediately you can, uh, you, you can trigger your trades. So having shown both of these, uh, let me bring up the website and what I want to do on this, uh, on this, uh, you know, on this webinar is, so if you know the multi time frame, uh, the indicator itself. Okay. So let me bring this over here. This is the multi time frame indicator. Now, as you know, I have a launch special, which is for 1497, but what I want to do, it's a launch special. And what I want to do is. I, uh, for anybody that buys it, uh, you know, I also want to throw in this algo, which is either the swing trades or the day trades. Uh, so whichever one you prefer to have, you can let me know and I will throw in that algo for free. That algo by itself is a, uh, you know, a few hundred dollars value. I will throw in that algo. That way you can have a filter right here for your trading time frame. Now, if you want both the swing trade and the day trade, you just send us an email info at optiontiger.com and uh, we'll, uh, you know, we'll discuss that. But I have a special on the multi time frame uh, trend indicator uh, for the month of December and that will be 1497. And along with that, you can either pick the swing trades or the day trades for free. And if you want both, just email, uh, e you know, email me and uh, we'll work something out there. But uh, that is really the special that I wanted to announce because I, you know, I, I realized and, and of course this algo might go through some improvements also. And uh, one of the improvements would be to try to see if we can put a scan uh, function. But the problem with the scan function, which my developer is telling me is that you can scan for maybe one time frame, but you, you know you cannot scan for a total flexibility in how you want to design your time frames, uh, uh, and, and you cannot 
put that out as a as an indicator yourself because you know then people will be confused as to you know which time frame you have to configure so the better option uh, is this kind of a thing where it gives you uh, an immediate uh, you know uh, a, a sense of which stocks are bullish which stocks are bearish and uh, therefore you already have a scan function here and uh, that will make your trading so much more simpler. You don't have to cycle through a whole bunch of stocks. You don't have to cycle through, uh, you know, the all the all the stocks in the S and P index and all of that. Uh, whatever is your watch list, uh, and uh, you know, you just put it up there, and it will automatically tell you which ones are bullish, which ones are bearish, and so you have a filter over there. So. Uh, so that's uh, that's really what I wanted to say on this webinar. Wanted to do the demo first, uh, first of all, and then also uh, tell you that if you get the multi time frame indicator, if you already got it, uh, you know, we, uh, and and we'll work it out. You can uh, email me if you already bought this. A few people have bought it, and so we'll we'll work that out. But um, you know, if you haven't bought it, then you're going to get the swing trades or the day trades. And if you want both, uh, just email me, and we'll work it out. So that's really it, folks. Uh, it's a very powerful indicator. It can work on all time frames, and so it keeps your trade entries uh, very, uh, you know, the, the highest probability, I would say. And it will also keep your exits uh, with the highest probability because uh, you know, as soon as you can see these things changing and you don't like the price action, you get out of the you get out of the trade, and so you would have at least uh, maximized some profits. And even if you did not get out at the very top, I mean, and that's impossible to get out at the very top on any trade. So, you know, the best thing you can do is try to maximize the winning, uh, you know, the winning trade, the winning part of the trade. And you get out when you don't like the price action. So that's uh, that's what it is. And uh, so. Uh, all right. So that's it. So if there's any questions, you can uh, you guys can send me an email info at option dot com. But this is really. Uh, uh, you know, this is really what uh, I wanted to show. It's a very powerful indicator, and I also wanted to say uh, that I, I'm going to be throwing this uh, this indicator for either the swing trades or the day trades in for free. All right. So that's it, folks. Um, let's. Um, you know, if you have any questions now, you can send it to me at info at optiontiger.com. Thanks.